On November 1, 2018, investigators with the Guam Police Department Mandana Drug Task Force working with Drug Enforcement Administration agents executed a search and seizure warrant at Cynthia Leon Guerrero Polino's residence in Aganya Heights. According to court documents, Polino was home when the feds raided her house. She allegedly told investigators she wanted to cooperate and took responsibility for all the drugs found inside the residence. Investigators found a total of 105 net grams of meth in Polino's bedroom and approximately 4.04 grams of cocaine in a pill bottle inside her bedroom nightstand. Additionally, $15,100 were found in a safe inside her closet. Further in court documents, she told authorities she had a bank safety deposit boxes, one for her daughter and the other for her daughter's boyfriend. The boxes were searched and contained a syringe with suspected meth residue, a Cartier wrist watch, two vehicle titles, and over $500,000. Polino told investigators she started selling meth in late 2017 and used her drug proceeds to pay her rent, bills, and vehicle expenses. Today, she appeared for her sentencing hearing in Chief Judge Francis Tidinko Gatewood's courtroom. It was stated in court Polino signed a plea agreement prior to being indicted. The government noted her substantial assistance and cooperation that led to arrest in more cases. However, it was noted that she has a criminal history. She was arrested on drug charges back in 2014 and was sentenced to three years in prison, although she admitted to selling drugs since 2011. The U.S. Office of Probation and Assistant U.S. Attorney Laura Sambataro recommended a sentencing term in the middle of the guideline range at 80 months. Defense counsel Jeffrey Moots asked for 70 months, the lowest range of the guidelines, arguing his client has fully acknowledged her operations, is remorseful, and went into cooperation with the government. The court asked Polino, quote, how could someone like you, a daughter of Guam, get so involved in drugs? She responded with stating, bad choices, and further said she has been clean for two years and made a decision to change her life and is dedicated to staying clean. The court agreed with the defense and sentenced Polino to 70 months or nearly six years behind bars and a four-year supervised release term.